Welcome to Mango Explains. So you've installed some mods, either by using Stardrop or via manually looking after the mods yourself, but you're having some issues. Never fret, we all need help sometimes. One of the key ways of troubleshooting is to read through the errors in Smappy, and that will likely tell you what mods are causing the issues. In the error on screen, the Smappy console is telling us that I've not installed the required mods for Walk to the Desert Redux to run. If we go to the Walk to the Desert page on Nexus Mods, you can see all the required mods that is needed for this mod to work. As you can see by this error report, Smappy tries to return an error that is in relatively plain English for you to understand and resolve. However, every so often, no matter what you do, you need help. Stardew Valley's modding community is amazing, very supportive and active on Discord, which I've linked in the description and in a pinned comment should you require more assistance. There is also a very active forum that you can seek help at. Again, that link is in the description and in the pinned comment. I know, I know, it's very scary to ask for help sometimes, especially of people who are so busy and are creating amazing mods in their spare time for Stardew Valley. So what are the ways to make it easier and quicker for someone to help you with your errors? One of the key ways is to check that you've downloaded and added the required mods to your game and you're only trying to install the mod and its requirements that you're currently experiencing issues with. When I say that, I do mean that single mod and only the requirements actually listed on that mod's page. If you are experiencing the error with only one mod installed, then it is that mod that is the issue. If the error occurs when you have an additional mod, it could be a case where you need to talk to both developers. Awkward, I know. One of the things you may be asked to do is to share the single most important bit of information you have, your Smappy Log. Accessing your Smappy Log is very easy if you're using Stardrop. You can go to View, Smappy Log File. If you're looking after your mods yourself, then you can go to your App Data File, Roaming, Stardew Valley, Error Logs, and the text file is the latest Smappy Log. If you open it, you'll see that it's huge. This may lead you to wonder how to share this log with someone via Discord, as Discord won't allow me to send that amount of words. Well, fret not, the amazing Smappy site has a way of passing the log into a format that you can easily share. It also highlights the errors very neatly, so you can use this function for yourself to look at the errors. To do this, you need to navigate to smappy.io, then in the left-hand side panel, select Log Parser. Choose the system you use and follow the instructions. Then click Save and Pass Log. Now all you have to do is copy the URL of the new page and send it to the person who's offering to help you. I actually recommend you use the Log Parser yourself if you are new to using Smappy to understand how the Smappy console returns information back to you, as it highlights errors as well as mods that can be updated in a way that is very user-friendly. You may actually be surprised how well you're able to fix the problems all on your own. Some mods unfortunately do not play well with each other, and sometimes you may be the first or only person to find out that combination is a problem. It is unlikely that everything that happens happens at least once. This might be a lottery you actually, um, win? The best way to find this out is to read the information on the Nexus page. Normally the mod author is already aware and has noted it on the front page. It is sometimes noted in the forum section of the mod. If there is a compatibility issue and the mod author is aware, it may be a case of waiting until the mod is updated or it may never be made compatible. After all, modders are rarely paid enough for this often thankless work. On that topic, you might want to endorse or rate the mod as a thank you to the mod developer. This ends the troubleshooting video. I hope I helped you understand how you can find the information you can use to gain help from the talented developers or even help you understand how to track down the issue yourself. Due to the large amount of mods out there, a troubleshooting guide for all the problems that could arise would be almost impossible to create and would take up way too much of your time to watch. And honestly, I am not skilled enough in development to even be able to understand all errors. What I can say is by taking some time and reading the logs carefully, I have only had to ask for help twice in playing modded Stardew Valley for countless hours. Don't fret, have faith in yourself and you'll be up and playing in no time. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this little guide or it helped you, please don't forget to like as it really does help my channel. Leave me a comment down below if you have questions or if I missed something that you want to see in the next Mango Explains. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing and all that amazing stuff you guys do. And of course, a very special thank you to my wonderful Patreons for your amazing support. Their names are scrolling across the screen right now. 
Thank you so much, guys. Your support has meant I can start looking at doing videos like this. See you in the next one. Bye for now.